Hello guys and welcome to another video. This time I'm showing you my Giants, Dragons and Negro teams and well I will explain how they work and what they do. This team is a very very fast team. The best time of this team was 36 seconds if I remember correctly and well it's composed of Lucian, Hua, Galleon, Tark and Lagmaron as you can see. Lucian is there because his third skill kills a full wave by himself as you all know. Hua is there because she reduces the attack bar of the boss so that the boss doesn't do the AOE attack with which he will most likely kill the full team because the towers are more break and well that will be deadly. So Hua is there so that the boss doesn't take a turn. Galleon is there because well you know he armor breaks the opponent, he attack buff your team and that's a great advantage on your side and that enables Lagmar on there to clear a full wave with his third skill. So if Galleon goes, armor breaks everyone, Lagmar on goes, kills the full wave, you move on to the next wave. Then Tark is there because well Tark picks two other guys with him to do a triple attack that deals lots of damage and also reduces the cooldown the cooldown times of the other two monsters he picked with him and also Tark hits very hard with his second skill just like Lagmaron does because it's based not only on attack but on speed too so both Tark and Lagmaron are very good and have very similar second skills that is why if you don't have Lagmaron you can replace him by a second Tark so double Tark here will be very very good too guys I, I, I dare to say that it will be almost the same this team is very consistent and well the chance of it to fail is if Hua doesn't reduce the attack bar of the boss as well as Galleon doesn't reduce it either because well Galleon reduces the attack bars with his second skill so the only way you can lose here is if the boss gets to throw you his AOE attack and well nothing you can do there but I don't remember the last time that happened so this has been very very consistent for me guys sorry for the lag because I, I cannot prevent it I don't know what's going on with my connection so it's been very very laggy okay this is the mini boss a very very difficult mini boss because well it has very very high resistance now we were able to land the armor rake so it was much much faster and easier but this will not be a very good time I think this team averages on about between 55 and 60 seconds however the best time was uh, about was 36 seconds if I remember correctly we will see it right now because as you can see the boss did not attack wasn't even close to attack okay it was one minute and the best time was 36 seconds effectively okay let's see what we get we will sell that and we are moving on to the most interesting team of the bunch which is my Dragon's team. As you can see, it's made of Birdie Hill as a leader, Galleon, Garrow, and Double Tark. Double Tark, I don't have to explain you again what Tark does because I already explained what he does for the Dragon's, for the Giant's team. This is the same, only double. Then Birdie Hill is there because he buffs the attack bars of all your team. And well, if Tark's pick him with them, then his first skill will work, will work and will boost the attack bar of everyone so you have lots of chances to boost the attack bars of your team and for your team to go and go and go and go again once and again before the dragon gets to land his attack Galleon is there because well he armor breaks the opponent he buffs your attack and that's the advantage you need to kill the dragon ASAP and Garo is there and is the key component of this team because he is like the safety belt of the team he is our parachute because when everyone else dies Garo is most likely immortal against the dragon this team has failed me once only once and it can happen that Garo dies in the mini boss 
that is a way for this team to fail. And it can happen that Garo dies to the boss, but for Garo to die against the dragon, he has to have a lot of dots on him, and well, that should be very, very, very hard to do. You know, it's very difficult for Garo to die against this boss because the boss only hits once and Garo will always survive one hit and he will be boosted by 50% on his attack bar so if Garo gets the 50% attack bar then he will go and he is on vampire so he will heal so the only way to kill him is with the dots and the dots have to out damage his heals you know and well that is not very easy that, that will be very bad luck so this team is very consistent and this team is almost every time between 60 seconds and 1 minute 10. So it's between 60 and 70 seconds. Very, very fast team and very, very consistent, which is very, very important for these kind of teams because you don't want to be spending lots of crystals on things that aren't working. So guys, you see it's very, very fast. The boss is almost dead, and there it is. He died before he could even attack. Well, this was a very good time, I think. Yes, 53 seconds. The best time was 46 seconds, which is so fast. And well, this is it. Guys, I remember I just forgot to show you the runes of my monsters, and I will show you the runes after I finish. Actually, I will show them right now. I will show, show them right now for this particular team. I will refill the energy so it goes to my team. This is Verdi. This is Galleon. On by Alan Will, because well, he's ruined for PvP. Garo. Guys, as you already know, if you have been following my channel, your birdie heal in this team should be the last monster to move you know very important because that way everyone else will benefit from the attack or boosting then in this team also you need at least one violent arc okay if you can manage to get both tarks on violent runes then it's better it's really better and well the garo should be on vampire runes I will show you guys the runes of my Giants team because, well, I forgot to do so before. You already know the runes on Galleon and on Tark, that is my Bio and Tark. And these are the runes on Lagmaron. They are nothing, nothing great, okay? They are good runes, but only good, okay? Everyone can get those. And this is my Negro team, and my Negro team has a one star, which is Darian. Okay, Darian is there because once I included Darian in this team, this team never ever failed. Okay, not even once has this team failed. Guys, the times of this no, of this team goes between go between about one minute. 30 seconds to 2 minutes and 10 seconds depending on the violent procs and the revenge procs because for necro as you may know you need violent runes on every monster that you can get when I don't have violent runes on on my Darian because he is made for our fight and well he doesn't make such a difference in this team because he doesn't deal lots of damage however he has one set of revenge runes as you can see there he broke the revenge and well Leeches. Leeches are the best damage dealer for Negro, in my opinion, because they uh, they slow the boss, they armor break the boss, they have multi hits on all of their skills, and Fuko has the shield that prevents him from dying, and Rachel does uh, has that passive that makes him receive less critical hits, if I remember correctly. And well. That is it. Okay, those are my dogs barking, barking like hell. And well, Colleen is there because she has multi hits on both her skills. She buffs the attack bar and she heals. She is a perfect monster for Negro. And well, there is there is Theomars, which is the leader of this team. And well, he is there because with his with leader skill, he makes my team has have a full hundred percent crit rate. And Theomas hits hard, has multi hit on his second skill, and he's very hard with his first skill. So, well, 
that's it. And Darian, as I told you, is there because with his damage reduction, he prevents the damage from the from the stages, in the first four stages where the monsters reflect your own damage, so your damage dealers will deal damage to themselves. And Darian, Darian mitigates that damage as well as mitigates the damage from the boss. And he also armor breaks and attack breaks. As you can see, this was an average time, 1 minute 52 seconds. Best time was 1 minute and 14 seconds. Well guys, I will show you the runes on these monsters. This is my Theomars. Violent Will, if you want him for PvE, then do it Violent Revenge. This is Fugo, Violent Revenge. As you, as you can see, you don't need any speed for Negro. Because, well, the speed of the boss caps at, I think it was 115 speed or 120. And well, since my towers are maxed, I only need plus 10 speed to get to the cap. So, and this is Darian, very tanky. Well, guys, these were my farming teams, which I am using this month in January 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this was useful for you. Then I will show you my my Elemental Rift teams for this month, but that will be in another video, guys. Thank you very much for watching this and I hope to see you in the next one.